What's up, people, man? It is your boy, Spaces, man. And today, man, we are diving into a powerful tool for sound designers, producers, and all creators alike. We're talking about Baby Audio Transit 2. Whether if you're looking to add creative transitions, expand your soundscape, or level up your music production, this plugin is packed with features that will make your audio production smoother and more dynamic. Let's check it out. Now, before we get started, make sure that you like, you subscribe, make sure you comment, man. Did you try Transit 1? Did you like Transit 1? Are you looking to get Transit 2? I don't know, man. Let's talk about it in the comments. Now, before we get into seeing what Transit do, let's definitely break down what Transit 2 is all about. It's a powerful transition tool designed to give you more control and creativity with your effects automation. It combines multiple effects and automates the process to help your sound evolve smoothly and dynamic. Perfect for builds, drops, or any movement you need that extra push in your music or sound design. Now, what I wanna do right now is take a look at the interface and explore some key features that make Transit 2 stand out. All right, and this is Transit 2. Now, as you can see, I'm in the dark mode. I just like it, it just matches better with my setup. Uh, the first thing I wanna talk about is the effect stacking. I love how you're able to come across here and add all of the different effects that you want to in this little block structure here. Also, if I wanted to, I can grab this and move them around like so. Also, I can come here and randomize this if I wanted to. I have my preset area where I can come here and add all kind of little presets. They have the packs over here. So of course you can go and get the packs if there's extra packs that they're adding later on in the future or whatever the case may be, you can get that here. Now, also another thing that I think is valuable here is that you have this random lock. Now you can go in here and randomize anything, but you can lock whatever it is that you do not want to change. So if there's something that you don't want to change, you basically lock it here and then you randomize over here with this little button. It'll just randomly select but your lock selection will not move because you've already had it set up. Now, let's not forget this is an effect chain or set up as an effect chain, so to say. So, of course, there is flangers, distortion, reverb, delay, bit crushers, spread, the whole nine, everything is here. You also even have this little area where you can choose your selected mode of macros, LFOs, followers, sidechain, gates, sequencers. You can find this information on YouTube already. I don't have to break all of this down, but it basically speaks for what it actually does. Now there's a bunch of small details to this plugin, and I think Andrew Hong really, really breaks it down on how it all works so i think you should definitely check out the baby audio video itself because he really goes in depth and i don't want to go in depth right here now let's put transit 2 to the test i have an example here that i'm working on and i have transit in multiple scenarios so you get a chance to see what it sound like in each scenario. All right, and so the first example that I'm going to use here is that I use it on a vocal. Quick tips that you should know about this in the setting over here. If you click this, it gives you this option over here. So which is the settings and the resources that you can add. Just a little quick tip there. And also if you click on the actual baby audio, it will bypass it. So if you wanna see what it sound like without it, these are just quick little tips that you can do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass this so you can actually hear what the vocal is doing and then we'll play it again with the plugin added to see the difference. All right, that's just the normal vocal. And then we're going to activate this. And here's what it's doing with the actual plugin added. All 
Now, as you can see, this thing just went super crazy on here, right? Which is the thing that I love about it is that you can get crazy with it. So if I actually unsolo this in the context of the track itself, it sounds like this. which I think is super dope. I think that is just crazy with the way <laughs> that it plays with the vocal. And the main thing that I want you to notice on this one also is that I'm using it just as an insert effect on the channel itself. And in the second scenario, I'm going to use this as a bus and I'm going to route different instruments to this actual bus that is going to affect it as a whole. Now, as you can see here, I have all of these tracks routing to transit, right? And so this is the actual bus over here. And now I have an automation line here that will do a transition. This is the actual setup that I used. I dialed in a couple of these. This is not the original preset itself. I kind of messed around with it just to get something different out of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bypass it and just show you what it sounds like before we add the effect. So as you see, just a normal progress track goes right into it and goes to the next part of it. So now we're going to add the transit and let's show you the effect of that. Now, as you can see with the effect, it has so many different things going on at one time. Just imagine I'm doing a flanger, a distortion, auto pan, bit crusher, reverb, delay, and a spread all at one time in one plug-in. Just beautiful. I absolutely love that. And then the third way that I would normally use this is as just an insert, just like I did with the vocal. But instead of it actually moving, it will be set as an effect. I don't have anything on this particular track like that, but just imagine it being an effect. And so you can do so many different things with effects. So there you go. Now that we've seen it in action, I want to take a look at some of the pros that I've seen with myself and some cons that I've seen that could potentially show itself. All right, so let's start with the pros. The pros, of course, is definitely going to be how creative you can get. It's easy for transition. It handles a lot of different things when it comes to transitions. Where you would normally have to automate four or five different effects, it's all in one with transit. Another thing is I love knobs. I love being able to get different sounds and get different effects out of those different knobs and being able to automate them and all those different things. I love that. Also, it don't hurt that you can do a dark or a light theme. I think that's just standard. I think that should be standard with every plugin. And last but not least, there's a lot of presets with this. I just think it's just amazing that that many presets are in this particular plugin, which you can just dial in so many different ways. I love that. Now, some of the cons that I think that people could run into is that it's it can be a little complicated if you really don't know what you're doing. Also, I can see people kind of getting lost in the sauce. Also, where I love turning knobs and finding different things, I can also see how some people can get lost in the sauce. If your workflow is going if, and you just, you know, you have the idea going and now you got to come here. If you're not a preset kind of guy, well, now you got to dial in these different things. I can see that kind of standing out as a problem to some producers. And really, those are the only things that I can see. So... There you go. So overall, Baby Audio Transit 2 is a versatile and intuitive plugin for anyone looking to create smooth transitions in their music. If you're interested in taking your sound design to the next level, I definitely recommend giving it a try. As always, if you found this video to be helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments what you'd like for me to cover next. And I think that wraps it all up. And until the next time, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.